So this is our new puppy, we'll call him Tuxedo. Hey guys, I uh, just wanted to make a video about our new puppy. We, uh, uh, some of you may know, in November 2022, we lost Kazi to cancer. And, um, you know, it was devastating for the family. And so it's been about, you know, eight months or so. And um, a lot of things changed and happened with my family. But one of the big ones is we were supposed to move to Colorado. When we were looking for a new puppy, a new dog, we wanted something that would probably work better in that climate. In Colorado, it gets it's cold all the way through May, sometimes in June. So we were looking for a dog that was going to be a little more rugged. And that's not to say Kazi wasn't a rugged dog. The short answer is we did not get a Doberman. And like I said, we were going to Colorado, so I wanted a dog that was, had more fur. That was basically it. So I wanted to make sure we had the same criteria that we had for the Doberman and for Kazi. Kazi set a very high standard for us. And I wanted to make sure the dog we got was up to that standard. So what do we, what do we like with Kazi? Kazi was extremely well behaved. Give hugs. <laughs> we tr I trained him before uh, our firstborn and um, got him very, very good at listening and understanding the rules of the house. Uh, he was also very healthy. He was also, as you guys know, he was very good to look at, but also very intimidating to look at uh, out in public. People gave us a very wide berth. Uh, they didn't. They didn't come close if we took Kazi out, um, and that's that was an advantage of owning him. So we wanted to make sure that whatever dog we got going forward would fulfill a lot of those things that Kazi had. Also, you know, some of the videos I posted, um, you see Kazi running around the yard. A lot of when he did that. We didn't know until he was gone, he kept a lot of predators at bay, uh, foxes and raccoons and possums. Uh, we didn't know that his presence had such a positive effect on just keeping them out of our yard. After Kazi passed away, a lot of our chickens and ducks were taken uh, due to predators. And we, they would get so bad, they would come all the way up to our house. So usually they were at the fence line at, at best they were coming all the way up to our back door. So, you know, that was another thing, is we wanted something that would kind of own the property and protect the property from mostly predators, uh, animal and human. But, um, so yeah, that was, a, that was a very big part of it. So some of the breeds we looked at were, uh, we did, I did kind of a family um, survey. We did a family questionnaire, uh, me, my wife, my two girls. And we had a questionnaire that was basically uh, choose your top four dog breeds and then I allowed for a fifth if they needed. And so obviously the top dog breed that everyone chose was Doberman. Everyone wanted another Doberman. Number two varied. Um, me and my youngest daughter, uh, Sydney, we both chose uh, the Dutch Shepherd. Pug came up twice, uh, Beagle came up, and then uh, again my youngest Sydney, she put German Shepherd, which I thought was unique because we never talked about that, but she, she put German Shepherd, so she understood kind of where we were going with this. So this is our new puppy, we'll call him Tuxedo. He's very tired. We just worked out this morning, so. But he is a giant schnauzer puppy. He weighs about 20 pounds. Got him about, what, a week and a half ago, right? So, the reason why we chose giant schnauzers, let's talk about the fur right away. They are furry, as you can see, but the fur gives them a little more ruggedness. Like I said, we were trying to go to Colorado, so he would have done fine with uh, the cold, but they don't shed a lot. Do you? He's tired. Well, 
I'll put him back down. So anyway, we chose the giant, I chose the giant schnauzer because, you know, from what I was reading, they, uh, temperament wise and protection wise, they're very similar to a Doberman. This is my daughter's first puppy uh, for both of them. They, they, when my eldest was born, Kazi was already a year old, and then my second was born, Kazi was three. So they've had a dog, but they've never had a puppy. And as, as adorable as puppies are, they're a lot of work. They're learning that right now, and they're stepping up to the challenge. So um, the goal here, though, is to integrate uh, dog training into our regular parts of our lives and to keep that going, to have like a, a very well-balanced, uh, obedient, uh, happy dog with our family, you know, who has uh, some defined roles, uh, mostly just uh, guard dog roles, but also lots of swimming, ratting, and with whatever livestock we decide to stick with right now, we just have chickens and ducks, he will be friendly to them, but he'll also protect them and, and provide uh, that level of security. So anyway, that is our, that is Tux, he is our new puppy, and um, hopefully I will be uploading more of him to this channel. Um, I, I enjoy it and uh, he, it's been great to have a dog again. Um, I really miss I really miss Kazi a lot still, but uh, I think he would be happy with this dog, this puppy taking over for him. So anyway, I hope that was informative. I hope you're entertained and uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye.